not mind and I'm making soap again today. This is going to be the second batch I did. Uh, I've done. Hi, I'm Greg Oddmind and I'm making soap again today. Uh, this will be my second batch of soap. Uh, I did learn some things from the first batch I did. Um, I have a couple of kits uh, from the soap making resource. The, they both come with bulk oils. Uh, yesterday, uh, my first soap making ex experience, I uh, expected that the oils were all pre-measured. That's not the case. So the batch of uh, soap that I've got curing right now has a little bit too much oil, probably about 100% too much. Uh, so I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. It's either going to be goop or it's going to, well, it's going to be probably goop. But we'll find out. I'll let it cure and I'll show you the results just so you can laugh at me like I'm laughing at myself. Um, so I do know that I need to measure the oils. Uh, also, uh, before I had the big four quart uh, aluminum pitcher to mix the oils in, that doesn't work out very well. So I moved up to an eight quart pot. Uh, so we'll be using that too. Uh, the other thing is the, some of the uh, oils that come in the white containers from the soap making resource kits, uh, they come out as butters. Uh, so rather than add it to the mix and then bring the oil up and wait for this to melt, I'm going to put these into an oil bath, or I'm sorry, a water bath, and I'll let them kind of turn into liquid and then measure them into the pot. So that will make things a little bit more, a little easier on me and a little less exciting for you. Uh, so I'm going to get to it. I'm going to take these and I'm going to uh, turn them from, uh, from a nice solid butter-esque thing to, uh, to liquid and uh, get going on this. All right, I'm back. Uh, I have now heated the oils and melted them and hopefully they're no longer butter. One thing to remember, when you put uh, a container into hot water, the container gets hot. So you might not want to reach in. Oh, that didn't butter up very well. You don't want to reach right in there and grab, unlike I did. Let's see what this one looks like. Uh, that one worked out pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not going to tilt it too far forward because it'll spill. And last but not least, the last one I did, the coconut oil. That should be the liquid liquid. And uh, it's got a thing, but I should be all right. All right. So now what we're going to do, get some of that oil off my hands. Uh, take my handy dandy measuring cup. This is kind of a transfer point for the oils. I'll weigh it in the uh, cup and then put it in the rather large eight quart pot. Alrighty. So this is all apparently done in ounces for the oils. So I'll um, get the scale turned on and ready. I'm gonna weigh the cup, hit the tear button, which will take into account the weight of the, uh, me the glass uh, measuring cup here. And then I can see how much oil I've got. So we'll tear that off. And the reason why I'm doing this is if I just pour it into the pot, measure it, pour it into the pot, I might add too much oil again. But this time, just because of uh, not measuring correctly, it's easier to take out of here than it is out of here. All right, I'm going to start with the olive oil. That's going to be 15 ounces. And there we go. It's a 16 ounce bottle. It's a 15.6 ounces, so I'll just plug it in there. This has got to be your favorite part, watching me pour and measure. Almost as fun as watching me, you know, stick blend. Go a little bit fast on that. That's ten and a half ounces. Up to fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen point five five. 15.6, so enough olive oil to put on the bottom of your feet and skate around the house. All right, next is going to be the coconut oil, which was this one. I'll pour this in here. Oh, wonderful. Goopy noises. 
Okay. I'm gonna re tear that because there's still a little bit of olive oil in there. This is gonna be uh, 13 ounces. So, yeah, almost the entire thing in the coconut oil, which is kind of a bummer because I got a big lump of it in there. Oops. Like I said, there's a, a lump of this stuff in there. I don't want it to uh, just kind of goop out on me. And 11 ounces. I'll so drop that in there. Now bring it up to 14. So, i to take about an ounce out of there. Again, why I'm using this instead of trying to measure it directly into there. You know, put that on, tear it off, and all that. The 12.6, there we go, 13 ounces. Just enough coconut oil to rub on your hands, I guess. I don't know at this point. Again, I'm going to keep those containers, so I'm going to clean them up and use them to uh, do the why. Just to have a place to contain my lye, uh, so I can pre-measure it and not have to keep on pulling out of the 10, 10 pound jug that I got. So, next up we've got 10.4 ounces of palm oil, of palm, and that's the palm. Ooh. And this one, it's a shea butter, this is going to be, that's not that's still pretty soft. We'll tear that too. Alrighty. So, 10.4 ounces of this. If I do this again, I'll have to actually find out what the properties of these oils are just so I can tell you, you know, what the, if it's going to make the bar hard, if it's going to make it soft, if it's going to make it lathery, if it's a skin conditioner, all that kind of good stuff. There we go, 10.4 ounces of that. Leaves me kind of a goopy bottom there. I don't know. Maybe enough for little tiny sample sizes or so. Which is why everything's done by weight instead of by cups and things. It's easier by weight to, uh, Reproportion, so they say. I'm not gonna doubt it because you know they're the experts. I'm just some schmuck. Alrighty. Oh, hey, that came up to zero. Next on is going to be the sweet almond oil, which is one of these. Ooh, oh, sweet. All right, that's gonna be. 4.2 ounces, so just a, just a touch of this. I'm going to have a lot of this left over. I remember it's 4 point something. I just don't remember what the point something is. 4.2. There we go, 4.2. That's quite a bit of leftover almond oil there. Next, castor oil. That's only 3.7 ounces. See if I can remember that for more than five seconds here. That scraping thing works out pretty well. It's back to zero. I don't have to re-tear. That was the... Castor oil, it's going to be 3.7 ounces of this. By the way, I didn't remember even the oil type that we're going to use for those five seconds. Very, very sad. Part German, part Swede, part goldfish. Let's see how those. 
3.7. Ooh. Ooh, just a drip more. There we go. 3.7 down. And into the pot. Thinking about it, I really should maybe make this into a double boiler uh, just so that you know there's no direct heat being applied to the bottom of the oil to keep it from burning. Uh, probably could take a Pyrex pie plate or not a pie plate but a, a, a roast dish and put in a couple of maybe three lids to top bell jars, you know, the ones without the, without the actual little lid part and just set it up that way. That would be kind of keep from scorching the oil. Avocado oil, only 2.6 of this, and only 2.6 of the shea, shea butter oil. That's good because, well, shea butter is really still buttery. So, is that 2.6? Yeah, 2.6. 2.55. Trip, 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 2.6. So, if you saw the previous video, which might go up after this video does, because I'm that kind of guy, uh, you'll notice that I just poured in four things like this. And, uh, I mean, it looks like soap. It looks like very, very glossy soap. But uh, about, about two hours, I'm going to take a look at it again and See if I can pull out the dividers and if it slimes together or if it stays in all separate bars. If it stays in separate bars, then I will, you know, continue to cure it. Well, even if it doesn't stay in separate bars, I'll continue to cure it. I mean, you might as well see the mistake from beginning to, beginning to end. It, it's nice to know what happens when you, what, you know, what the final product looks like, even if you mess up. I mean, if you don't know what happens, then, I mean, it, you don't know how much playroom you get. I know 48 ounces out of 47 ounces of oil is way too much playroom. It's 100% playroom. So if that stuff turns into soap, I'll be surprised. All right, 2.6 ounces of the uh, shea butter, which, as you saw, was more buttery than oil. And ooh, 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 this might work. It's got 2.3, 2 2.6. Look at that. Oh, I did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, somebody's laughing at me right now. <laughs> All right, 2.6 of the butter. So the shea butter to shea oil at this point. And I will scrape that all in there. And now what I'm going to do is bring this into the uh, kitchen and start to uh, you know, bring this into the kitchen and start to bring it up to temperature. 100, 110 degrees. I've seen all sorts of different temperatures on websites that range from 100 to 120. I'm going to split the difference. The newsletter says 100 degrees, but I'm going to bring it up to about 100, 110 because I'm talking and pointing at stuff. And it might cool down a little bit while I'm doing all of that. Uh, when I get back, I'll mix the lye. Uh, though it looked fantastic in that mask, I don't really think I need it. So I'm going to go with Sans mask, and uh, you'll actually be able to hear what I say. So, hold on.